We are going to Rabat. Guys, we are already here, but the restaurant is full, 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 and we didn't reserve any table, so let's see if we get a place. Let's check it out. Hello guys, welcome to Tavoletta. My name is Elias and this is Oscar. Das ist is uh, German, sorry. My name is Elias and that's Oscar. So we are the restaurant explorer in Malta. Today I came up with the idea to review this really beautiful tiny cafe house bar in the middle of Rabat. I'm in front of the St. Paul statue. Also on the left side, we have the Medina, which is really close to here. So I found out about this restaurant yesterday. I saw a lot of pictures that influencers are posting, videos, which is a really beautiful place. It should be a kind of Maltese place with uh, like Maltese fetira, and I would say like Maltese sausages and this kind of stuff. So let's have a look. It's a really nice, beautiful place. The waiter is really cool. She's from Hungary. As I am from Vienna, we are next to Hungary, and I have a lot of Hungarian friends. And I used to know a lot of swear words, so we laughed a bit. <laughs> I love this kind of uh, architecture that is really small, tiny, gives a really nice vibe. It's really, really tiny. So I cannot move my legs, I can't do anything but I kind of love it. <laughs> I got the menus. <laughs> Finally. Finally. I don't know, they seem like that they are super busy, but they are not. The wines are really super cheap. Should we give a try for Fermentino? That's my favorite wine. Yeah, sure. Are you a wine fan? Yeah. Man, let's go with the Medina Rosa. Mmm, local. Yeah, local, as we are here. Let's see if we can catch her because she's somehow scared of us and she's going again down. The menu is really simple. It looks nice, really easy. Artisan fitira, okay. They have like Maltese fitira. Have you tried fitira? No, never. So the prices are really okay, to be honest. It's like one Maltese fitira is five euros. Vegan fitira is five euros. We have chicken and burrata, eight euros, but still makes sense. The salads are a little bit more expensive, but still in a good range. It should be actually a good place for students to come. Somehow, I'm really disappointed in service in Malta, because everywhere you go, you have to wait like really long till somebody come to your table. Because usually the first thing is to give the drinks and that's it. I don't understand. I'm thirsty. Yes, of course. You didn't know that you want to order? <laughs> we don't have the breads. Really. Oh, no fitira, nothing? No, we came for that. Not even one possible? Because I'm sure that's your specialty. We would love to have the Medina Rosé. You don't have it? just the glasses. So you don't have any bottles, but only glass-wise? No worries. So it's quite disappointing. And the wines, they don't have any wines in bottle, so which means one whole page, they don't have it available. We ask for just two glasses of wine. Thank you. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. It smells really fruity. Strawberry. Nice. I like it. It's really fresh, fruity. Cheers. So we ordered the fetira. They didn't have the bread. So they went to buy the bread from the bakery behind. Sorry? Do you do the slurpy sound when you drink wine? Yes. But uh, that's more for uh, red wine, not uh, <laughs> white or rosé. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I got because uh, wine. you know in why you make that to have air in the wine yes. to make it <coughs> bu yes. bubbly and nice. I believe it's coming. Thank you so much. You're Thanks a lot. Wow, that's huge. Thank you. Thank you, guys. That's really huge, and this guy's like five euros. Mamma mia. The balcony. Yeah. 
That's where we are. So one for me, one for you. Mr. Oscar. Well, I would say we share that. Ah, it's a cold meal, actually. We have here the dry tomatoes. I bet that's a malty sausage. That should be a, a cheese, but I don't know, a goat cheese or something? Do you know what the name say? is? No. I know it, but I can't ever remember it. It's a Gibbonation or something? Gibbonation? Gibbonation. Gibbonation. Okay. And salad. And obviously that should be like tomato paste. Oh, that's really sweet, man. That's really, really, really sweet. Really nice. Let's have a bite. It's really, <laughs> it's really thick. I love it. Hmm. The sweetness of the paste is really good, the tomato paste. The salad makes it really fresh. The fritita is really crispy and really also nice to bite. The cheese is really good. And the combination with <coughs> dry tomato is also really nice. In this um, malty sausage, I feel a little bit too much aroma. Too much taste. Too much spices or? Mm -hmm. Let's enjoy. There are a bunch of tourists here. A lot. Like a tourist festival. <laughs> well, to be honest, the food was cool. It was really okay to, for an afternoon, I would say. Small stop and uh, have something to drink and uh, small food and you go. Now when we finish the meal, now is the coffee time. So I ordered a peanut butter cookie with pistachio cookie. So let's give it a try. And of course, two espresso. Really good espresso. It's really light not strong. The only thing that is missing is the cafe crema. So it doesn't have any cream, but okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We've got here peanut butter cookies. They're homemade. And we've got here a pistachio cookie. So, should I try? It's really hard. <laughs> Tastes really well. I love the peanut butter. And it's pure chocolate. So it's really sweet. <laughs> really great, but too hard. Really hard. I love the peanut butter. I have officially stopped eating peanuts. Really? Right now. Why? Are you allergic? Yeah, no, Amina is allergic. Yeah, but why did you? Yeah, stop? because she can have an allergic reaction if I eat them. And then we kiss maybe. Oh. I'm not trying this one, but I'll try this one. No, you know what we do? I will film you how you try that. Mr. Oscar. Mr. Oscar is me, but it's pistachio inside. Do you know anything else about it? No, to be honest. No, okay. Mmm. How is mm, it? Very sweet. Yeah. But also a little bit salty, which I really like. Mm -hmm. I love when they, um, when they have both sweet and salty in the same. It almost looks like they have some kind of uh, cake inside here. Like they have some crumbles yes. from something else inside it, which is really nice. And it's a creamy on top and with the crumbs of uh, pistachio. And this, this doesn't taste super much of the uh, pistachio, but it's really nice anyways. <laughs> Should I also try? Yeah, definitely. Of course. We have this kind of dessert also in Iran. Because in Iran we use a lot of pistachio. I love the um, cake in between. I love the paste on it, pistachio paste. Really cool, but to be honest, not so mine. I go with the peanuts one. 
it does taste, now that I've been thinking about it some more, like uh, cookie dough almost. Mm -hmm. Like the cookie dough inside of the ice cream. Mm -hmm. It's true. I think it's super nice. Well, to be honest, I want to take all the peanuts only. Oh man, they have Snicker on it. I love Snickers. Nice. It's my favorite chocolate. Mm. I eat every day one Snicker. It's a nice life to live. I love it. In the morning, my espresso and one Snicker. Every day. Actually, that's all for here. The place is really amazing, really beautiful. Uh, service could be better, much better. The preparation could be better, that they don't run out of food like in the middle of the day. But to be honest, that's it, man. That's it. Well, now is the time to rate the chalk. So we speak about the service experience. The fact that we waited like over half hours, maybe they were too shy because we had the camera. They didn't um, take anything from the table, any dirty dishes, any dirty um, glasses or whatever, or they didn't come and check if we are doing good, if we like the food or what else. I would give a three for the service. So let's speak about the food, guys. The Maltese fetira, the Maltese sausage with these dry tomatoes was really beautiful. I really loved it as a fast stop, like an afternoon. So everybody has to come and stop here to have a fitira. The only thing what was a little bit bothering me that uh, in the middle of uh, the day, they didn't have like the half of the card, which is quite disappointing. For that, I would give a five. Once you arrive to Malta, obviously you want to try something local. This is a perfect place where you can try some local wines like Medina Rosé, Medina White Wine or Medina Syrah. I love that. The unfortunate was that they didn't have the half of the cart again because we wanted to order a bottle and they didn't have it at all, so we got only two glasses. For that, I would give it three. Last but not least, I have to speak about the beautiful ambience here. Guys, only the fact that you are sitting on the balcony with your girlfriend, with your wife or with your husband is really beautiful. You feel like the god of Medina and the Rabat at the same time. It's really great because you have a lot of Maltese balconies here. It's great to make some pictures, to enjoy that and to feel the vibe of summer here. For that, I would love to give an 8 for the ambience and thank you. And the average point of Tavoletta would be 4.8. But don't get me wrong, this is a really, really beautiful place that everybody who comes to Malta, at least to Medina or Rabat, has to give it a try. You have to visit this place because it's really, really beautiful. The only thing is that you don't expect too much of food and beverage. It's a really cozy place where you can hang out with your friends and pass a beautiful day. And please don't forget to subscribe our channel to don't miss our future videos. Thank you so much.